We're going in depth now with the Target 12 investigators. Data shows the rate of incidence of absenteeism is up 250% in Rhode Island compared to the year before. That's according to the Jewish Alliance of Greater Rhode Island. The Alliance's president and CEO, Adam Greenman, is one of this week's guests on Newsmakers. Um, and I should say, not absenteeism here. We're talking about anti Semitism is up 250% in Rhode Island. Are you concerned that news coverage actually may perpetuate it? No, I actually think it's incredibly important uh, that news continue to cover it. If it's news, it means it's not normal. And Target 12 investigator Alexander Leslie joins us now. And Alex, you've reported on some of these incidences in the last year, but what does Greenman make of this uptick? Well, Greenman says that in addition to a divisive political environment, that social media has really played a role in giving hate speech a bigger platform. When you go online and you can find an entire community of folks who have like-minded ideas like you, suddenly you become more brazen, you feel more emboldened. And so um, the fact that uh, social media companies have really struggled to tamp down anti-Semitic, racist, homophobic uh, activity online, I think that that is uh, one of the major causes for why we're seeing such a spike. Now, to put that 250% uptick into context, Greenman says the Alliance's anti-Semitism tracker is aware of 44 incidents from July 2022 to June 2023. That is up 13 from the year before. Greenman says uh, it's in line with what the country is seeing. Now, the Anti-Defamation League tracked nearly 3,700 incidents nationwide last year. That's the highest number on record since the ADL started tracking these kinds of incidents back in 1979. And Alex, I want to switch gears a little bit because Dr. Ashish Jha, the dean of Brown University's Public School of Health, was also a guest on Newsmakers this morning. And Jha, of course, became one of the most well-known faces of public health amid the pandemic with his role at the White House. So what's his take on where things stand with COVID three and a half years later now? Well, as you can still imagine, he stressed the importance of getting up to date with all the COVID vaccines and also reminding people that it's, it's safe to get both the flu and COVID shots at the same time. He said it's time to move away from thinking of COVID by itself and more generally about respiratory viruses as a whole. We're out of the emergency phase and now we're thinking about COVID as a long term management. We absolutely can get back to our lives, do the things that are important, but we've just got to stay vigilant about making sure uh, that COVID doesn't you know, cause further burdens beyond what flu and RSV already were doing. So coming up at six, my colleague Tim White will bring you guys more from that interview with Dr. Jha, including what he thinks health officials could have done differently in the early days of the pandemic. Target 12 investigator Alexander Leslie, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.